wetlands, we've heard about the forests, we've heard about traffic, we've heard about wildlife, okay? And flooding, so. And Good flooding. evening. And flooding, so. Mr. Wheatley, may I distribute a copy of this to everybody at this point? Sure. Start with this gentleman down here, and he'll make sure that we get them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just got to talk and continue. And yeah. I'm going to ask you guys again to be quiet. We can hear you up here, and it's annoying. We're trying to concentrate on what this lady is saying. She has the floor. So go ahead. Thank you. My name is Ann Conlon. I live at 103 Alderleaf Court in Chapel Green, but I also own a building lot on 48 Aintree Drive. So anything that goes on on Aintree Drive is of interest to me. Now, I've just distributed to you kind of a time frame that's going to work with the report that I have. And I've headed it, is Mr. James McCulley's report outdated? And I heard Mr. McCulley's presentation earlier, and I also heard, Mr. Wheatley, your questions to him regarding the confusing did you, changes. Did you hear our attorney confirm the discussion that took place? Did, did, you, hear, did you hear our attorney? Okay, well, I'm going to give you three minutes to okay. do this, okay, because we've been down this road before, and we understand what your concern is, so begin. Okay. Now, part of the Coral Lakes application includes the two reports by Mr. McCulley who is a wonderful professional wetland scientist, and I have to say his reports are thorough. They start on pages 185 and 233, respectively, but I'm particularly concerned with his definition of jurisdictional wetlands and waters, which appears on 188 and 236. Now, in each of those reports, he states, and that's dated June 22nd on that, the agencies have defined WOTUS, waters of the United States by regulation since the 1970s with the latest definition becoming effective on June 22nd, 2020 in the Navigable Waters Protection Rule, NWPR. McCulley completed his reports for Coral Lakes on November 16th, 2020. Now, eight months later, you'll see there, August 4th, 2021, in the Federal Register, to do 137 pages, a notice appeared indicating that something McCulley had based his reports on, the Navigable Waters Protection Rule, was about to be revised. Whoops. One month later, on September 20th, 2021, an article appeared in the National Law Journal announcing that the EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers would be embarking on yet another rulemaking process to redefine WOTUS, which in all likelihood would be broader in scope than the Navigable Waters Protection Rule. Two months later, November 18th, 2021, the Environmental Protection Agency in a document called current implementation of waters of the United States announced that they would be putting back in place a pre-2015 definition of WOTUS. They have invited stakeholders to submit comments up until February 7th of this year. Therefore, the bedrock of Mr. McCulley's wetlands opinions may be based on outdated NWPR regulations. And since the EPA and Army Corps of Engineers are in the process of changing the NWPR, wouldn't it be better to wait for these changes to become effective, especially as they may apply to jurisdictional waters and wetlands? And, and, and with this in mind, I just encourage you to consider delaying making a recommendation, excuse me, a decision 
on this application tonight. And I thank you for your time. And I can tell you there are two water tables under my lot in Chapel Green, one at three feet and one at seven feet. So, yes, we do have high water tables. If you'd have stopped at thank you, it would have been, <laughs> oh, it would have been, two, it would have been two minutes and 57 seconds. <laughs> But you just had to get that last 10 seconds in. I'm a woman. It's what we do. Oh, my well, you did it very well. Thank you. We appreciate yes. your comments. Thank okay. you. Okay.